back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm sonia and i would love it if you could subscribe and if you're already an existing subscriber welcome back so today i'm going to be doing my look fantastic box for me a little bit about this box this box is 15 pound a month if you have it on a rolling contract whereas if you're like me and have it for a year it brings it down a little bit in price to 13 pound you get six products in this box and i do like this box this is one of the boxes for me that i think has always been consistent it's always been one of the boxes that i have enjoyed it does have big brands in there as well you get makeup skincare hair care but what i will say with this box is it is definitely more skincare heavy i don't mind that because i love skincare maybe not as much as i love makeup but i do love skincare and the box this month is this really nice baby blue i love that I did actually get an email about this box this month because the sneak peek last month, they, it's not in this box this month. I think they're putting it in June's box from what I could see from the email. So the booklet inside may be a little bit incorrect, but they did send it to us on email. So whatever product in here was replaced, I'll just read from the booklet as I sent on the email. What I will do below is I will leave a link to Look Fantastic and I will also leave a referral code down below if you'd like to use it. That is where you will get some money off your first box and I will get something in return. You don't have to use the code if you don't want to, but it'll be down there if you would like to. And I will also leave below anything that I may have missed. This usually does get delivered towards the beginning of the month. So let's get into it. You always have like a quote on the inside of the box and it says this month, your smile is sunshine to others. So as I mentioned, it does come with the booklet. Like I said, this the information in here is a little bit incorrect with regards to one product but i do believe the rest of the products are all the same and this is edit five for me and it's the countdown to summer is on and the theme this month for the box is i'm really bad at pronunciation sometimes but that is the theme this month for the box so i'll just have a little bit of a read of it i'm not going to read it all because we'd be here all day but so it says sun awareness the 4th to the 10th of may max national sun awareness week here in the uk a campaign led by the british association of dermatologists to highlight the detrimental effects too much sun exposure can bring to your skin of course we all love a bit of sunbathing in fact vitamin d is essential to our well-being and the easiest way to get this is by spending some time outside in the sun i'm i don't know if it's just me i'm not a huge sunbather like i'll do it for like maybe like half an hour but then i just get bored <laughs> I have to be like out and about and doing stuff I just yeah so that being said too much exposure to the UV radiation from the sun can speed up signs of aging lead to dehydration and is the leading cause of skin cancer it's not just sunny days that bring these risks there is often just as much UV radiation on a cloudy day as there is when the sun is shining that's why we have national sun awareness week to bring facts and tips that will ensure we can all stay safe in the sun so the color of the box it says blue equals serenity tranquility stability and calm it's what we all crave but so often struggle to feel let our May beauty box bring a moment of peace luxury and me time to your day and we do have a sneak peek which we do always get at the back of the book if you don't want to know what that is please do skip ahead now but for next month for june's box we have this and this is the, so it says our June box delves into the importance of knowing exactly what's inside our beauty products and the impact that can not only have on your skin but the world around us too. So I have a feeling this is going to be quite skincare heavy in June. And the product is the Balance Me Pre Plus Probiotic Cleansing Milk, 30ml worth £8. I, oh, I've tried a few things from Balance Me, they're okay. So... I'll most probably use this but I'm not overly impressed with the sneak peek and we do have a couple of limited editions boxes here we've got one by Moroccan oil which is interesting I would most probably go for that but I'm trying not to spend a huge amount of money at the minute so we have that and then we, it looks to be we have a Father's Day one as well okay so what I will do is I will put this to the side because I will refer to it but like I said for the other product I will just grab my phone and just read the description so this is what it looks like inside. It comes with the usual tissue paper and sticker. I will say there's something really heavy in this box. I feel, it feels heavy anyway. Oh. So this is what it looks like inside. A little bit of a sneak peek. So I actually believe the first product was meant to be the, yeah, it was meant to be the Esper eye cream. 
But like I said, I'm pretty. They did mention in the email, which I'll get up now, that that will be in June's box. Yes. So it says we wanted to let you know we have featured an incorrect item: Esper 24 Hour Replenishing Eye Moisturizer within the print magazine. This product will be included in the June beauty box, which is due to be dispatched to you next month. So that will be there next month. Okay. So the replacement product for that seems to be this, and this is the Comfort Zone. Hydro Memory Cream Gel 24 hour double hydration cream gel. Not heard of this brand, but anything that says like hydration, I'm like, I'm all about. So, what I will do is because Look Fantastic have stopped putting prices in their books, I will put the price on the screen for you. So, it says, What is it? This is a moisturizing gel cream with hyaluronic acid and a blend of natural extracts that ensure your skin has up to 24 hours of double hydration. Wow. This sounds amazing. With 92% natural origin ingredients, a formula completely free from silicones and a light sorbet texture. So this has hyaluronic acid in it, moringa oil, watermelon. So you just massage into dry, cleanse skin morning and evening until fully absorbed. So this is like a moisturizer. I will definitely be keeping that. That sounds exactly like what my skin needs. And I'm pretty sure everything else in the book is correct now so the next thing is a product i've actually already got and i picked it in my in my latest in beauty box but it is a e-cooking peeling mask now i really like this brand e cooking i tried their foot cream and i was blown away at how much that changed my feet i have yet to get around to this if i'm honest but it does say on here, don't panic if your skin turns red it means it's working and i know before I've seen people on boxes before in different boxes and that kind of worries them a little bit. It doesn't really necessarily worry me because I've already got one. I will most likely put this in someone's box that I'll be creating for Christmas. I know I've just mentioned the Christmas word, <laughs> but I like to do it early enough so that I've got like a box of little goodies that I can give up as from, with their gifts. So this is an effective face mask with peeling effects to tighten and smooth your complexion. Its active ingredients rid your skin of dead skin cells and encourages cell production, which over time decreases the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Your skin will prickle upon application and may look red after use. This is completely normal. So this has lactic acid in, glycolic acid and squalene. So what you do is it says apply thin layer onto dry cleansed skin, avoiding your eyes and your mouth. Leave for four to six minutes building up building up to 10 to 12 minutes over time so this is something that you do have to build up your skin to but it does say but no longer than that rinse with warm water and follow with a nourishing moisturizer use one to three times a week so this is a product that you do have to build up to using and allowing your skin to get used to it it does say top tip due to the peeling nature of this mask it is not recommended for use before going out in the sun because like i said i've already got one of these i don't need another one so I'll be putting this in a box for someone else. I'm excited to try the one that I do have of that. The okay, next thing we have is by Dr. Botanicals and it is the KW Kiwi Superfood Cooling Eye Serum. We have another eye product. I swear, I think for like literally since January, I feel like I've had an eye product in at least one box each month. I've tried a few things from Dr. Botanicals and I think they're okay. I'm currently using the lemon superfood all-in-one on like my feet and I don't really find it making like as much of a difference for example as the cooking one but I'll definitely give this a go because it's not a product I have tried. I'm always intrigued by eye serums. I, I just use them as eye creams which I'm assuming that is what you're meant to do. I actually wasn't expecting it to be that colour. It does just have like a pipette. So it says, a lightweight, quick absorbing serum formula eye treatment that combines superfood ingredients to create a soothing treatment to defend the delicate eye area against external aggressors. Use regularly to see a visible reduction of signs of aging. I get a little bit dubious when they say it's going to like combat the signs and reduce the signs of aging. I don't ever think there's going to be a product that will take away all of your under eye wrinkles. For me, I have them, and a smile lands. <laughs> but I do get a little bit dubious, but I'm definitely gonna keep this. I'm definitely gonna try it. Oh, it has these ingredients in. I was gonna say them, but I'm gonna butcher them. 
and it just says tap a small amount under the eyes and up to the brow bone after cleansing so yeah it's pretty much like an eye eye serum eye cream that's what i'll be using at so we have that oh my battery is dying okay so next we have this and it is the bet's bees I've wanted to try one of these for a really long time and this one is in Cucumber Mint and it's a moisturising lip balm. I really like stuff for cucumber because I do actually find it quite refreshing. But you could have got all like different scents, scents, flavours. You could have got watermelon, wild cherry or this one. I would have been happy with any of them to be honest. So it's a deliciously flavoured version of the cult classic lip balm. Formulated to condition and moisturise the lips for a pout that everyone will be buzzing about. You'll receive either refreshing cucumber, super sweet cherry or fresh watermelon this month. And this is just a lip balm so you just apply it on your lips. I think I do actually have wild cherry in a wish list. But I'm definitely happy with that and I will definitely be keeping that. So I'm actually back. I, my camera died on me so I had to wait for it to charge a little bit. So even though it's only been a second for you, it's been quite a few hours for me. So... In the meantime, while I had that little bit of a break, I did have a look at this. So, the two options here, I mentioned I don't have this in my box. Well, that's because it's a variation. So, you will get either this product or you will get that product. So, I, of course, got the Better Bees. I don't mind that because I actually wanted to try these, so I'm really happy with that. So, if you don't get one of these, you will get that. Okay, so actually, with regards to this, this was a free gift in the box this month. So... I'm really happy with that. I don't think you can have too many hand sanitizers. So I believe this is where we was at. And the next thing we have is this. And this is the Vintage Cosmetics Company Soft Silicone for a gentle exfoliation. So this is a silicone exfoliating pad. So again, I think this might be a product that I'm most probably not going to use just because I don't really use a lot of tools like this. I don't necessarily exfoliate my face that much. I might keep this to try, but uh, I don't know. Like, I'm um and around about whether to keep this or not. I don't know at the minute. I'll see, but if not, this will definitely go in a box for somebody else as well. I just don't really exfoliate my face that much. I know I maybe should, and that's why I'm kind of tempted to keep this. <laughs> but let's have a little bit of a read about it, shall we? So, this is a soft silicone bristle facial pad designed for use with your favourite cleanser to deeply cleanse your pores and remove any dead skin cells. Use regularly to reveal a gorgeous glowing complexion. So, you wet with warm water and squeeze your preferred facial cleanser onto the pad. Gently rub over the skin in circular motions, forming a lather, rinse thoroughly, and you can use this daily. I think I'm going to try this and see what I think because... I obviously want a glowing complexion so I think I will keep this so we have that and last but no means least in this month's box we have this by This Works. If you've been around on my channel for a while you know that I'm not a huge fan of This Works products because a lot of the time they are lavender and I don't really like lavender scented stuff but this is the Stress Check Canned Hands Soothing Hand Cream for Dry Overwashed Hands which of course at the minute, I think a lot of people do have that. I'm going to put this in a box for somebody I know who's going to get this. Usually, I will keep hand creams, but I just know I don't like scent, like the lavender scent, which usually this works has. So, an intensely moisturising hand cream, perfect for replenishing skin after washing or, or sanitising. The formula locks in essential hydration and provides fast-acting relief without leaving any sticky residue. Also enrich with this works dress check break and still play for your centre with every use. So it has shea butter, vitamin E, bio boost oil, lavender, which like I said is one of usually the main fragrance in this works, which I'm not a huge fan of, and ylang ylang. So this is just a hand cream, you use it like a hand cream. So I'm not going to keep this one just because I know I don't like this works products. But I know someone I'm going to give this one too. That was the products this month in the Look Fantastic box. I am actually quite happy with this box. I know there's quite a few things that I will be giving away. But I'm either not keeping it because it's a scent that I know I don't like. And I think someone else would prefer it. Or it's a product I already own. And I don't see the need in me keeping another one. So 
let's just have a quick recap of all the products. Starting off, the first thing we have is the Comfort Zone Hydro Memory Cream Gel, which of course I will be keeping. The next thing we have is the e-cooking peeling mask. Like I said, I already have this, but I do really like the e-cooking brand. So I'll put this in a box for somebody. We then have the Dr. Botanicals Kiwi Superfood Cooling Eye Serum, which of course I will be keeping and trying. We then have the Bates Bees Cucumber Mint Lip Balm which of course I will be keeping that one as well. We then have the Vintage Company Silicone Exfoliating Pad. I am actually going to keep this and I will try it and see what I think. We then have the This Works Hand Cream, which like I said, will be given to somebody else. And as the free gift this month, we have the L'Oreal Hand Sanitizer, which of course I will keep and use because these are very handy at the minute. So like I said, I'm actually quite happy with this box this month. I don't know what happened with the Esper eye cream, but I mean, to be fair, if this was what the box was going to look like anyway, that would have been two eye products in this box because this wasn't what was replaced. So this is what that, this is what the product was meant to be. So I feel like that, that would be a bit overkill with eye products. So I don't know, maybe that's why, I'm not sure. But that will be in June's box. So I'm excited to try that and yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already. And I would love to know below your thoughts and opinions on this May fantastic box. And until my next video, thank you for coming by. See you later.